Professor Maswa, who is a former employee of World Health Organization, argues that the government's agreement to send the medical specialists to Trinidad and Tobago is in line with the World Health Organization's Global Code of Practice, mm -hmm. which Uganda ratified in 2008. His comments follow the High Court's dismissal of an application by a local think tank that sought to bar the move. The argument by men is that thousands of Ugandans cannot access proper health care, given that the doctor-to-patient ratio is very low. Professor Maswa says government is doing what it ought to do. Uganda is not the only country in the South who is doing this. Already, for many years now, South Africa, while importing health workers from other African countries, has actually got a bilateral agreement with the United Kingdom to export health workers from South Africa. He argues that if more medical workers are exported, it provides them an improved welfare and enhances their market value. Improving the way in which uh, possibly more health workers in Uganda can be trained with support from countries like uh, Trinidad and Tobago and others, rather than just dropping in and saying this must stop. Professor Maswa who was part of the team that formulated the World Health Global Code of Practice on the International Recruitment of Health Personnel, believes that government should fully implement the code. It also has a section which requires that if you are a health professional, you've been trained by your people, your government, you must pay your obligations to those who trained you. It also has a section which uh, requires those who import health workers to treat them with dignity, not to treat them shabbily. But he also gives reasons why more medical workers will opt for more jobs. I can't see how you send a nurse or a doctor to work far away from their home. You know, I was born in Soroti. You take me to Kabale or to Arua and you pay me a salary which I can't live on. What do you expect me to do? It's just a nonsense. According to the PRO of Uganda Medical Workers Association, in a research conducted in 2013, they interviewed several doctors working in various hospitals across the country, and they were asked as to whether they were comfortable with the kind of conditions they were living in, and they said they are not comfortable at all and are opting to go for greener pastures abroad. But the figure of the nurses who want to leave the country in the next five years for greener pastures is even more alarming. 70% said, you know, between now and the next five years, I will go abroad. Dr. Ekwaro Buku, the PR of Uganda Medical Workers Association, mentioned some of the demands that will help change the state of affairs. Urgently paying turn doctors. Two, consider an on-call allowance for doctors. Three, promote doctors who have qualified as specialists. There are very many specialists out there who have been working in the government and are still medical officers. According to the UN Human Rights Convention, every person is free to move and legally work anywhere around the world as long as there is an opportunity. Critics say that unless government improves the welfare of medical workers, more will continue to seek employment abroad, which could result in a crisis in the future. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.